today I'll be talking about Luke chapters 10 through 12. And all of these are great parables and teachings of Jesus during his journey to Jerusalem. So in chapter 10, it starts off with when he sends out 72 disciples to talk about the glory of God's kingdom. And they come back with this astonishment and how authoritative and powerful the name of the Lord is. And then we have the story of the Good Samaritan when a man who wasn't quite liked by the community took the time to help out a Jewish man who was beaten, robbed, and left for dead in the street. And even a priest and a temple assistant didn't help the poor man. The last story in chapter 10 of Mary and Martha when Jesus came to visit them. There we see the importance of Mary's attentiveness and just taking the time to sit with the Lord as he teaches versus Martha being so distracted preparing a meal in the name of hospitality. All these are great examples for how our works are not performance-based, but just the fruit of the spirit that we show and just how we can sit still and just listen to what God has to say. And in chapter 11, Jesus talks about the importance of being shamelessly persistent in prayer. As we're shamelessly persistent, we, he uses this metaphor as if it was knocking on a door. And as we continue to knock, he will open so many doors beyond our own imagination. And then in chapter 11, he encounters the Pharisees who question Jesus and why he's being so kind and trying to save these poor people who are deemed blind, sick, Samaritans, tax collectors, you name it. And they're just so confused in why Jesus is just looking out for them the way that he is. And he responds with saying that these Pharisees are worried about the wrong thing when they themselves are full of this pride, this greed, this um, malice, and just being deceptive and just not genuinely good for the people. And lastly, in chapter 12, Jesus talks about how we can trust in God's provision. And just we learn about the concept of wealth and just this radical generosity and being stu good stewards of what we've been given. And with all this being said and all this in mind, let's go into prayer. During this cleanse, Holy Spirit, guide us in both the spiritual and physical aspects. As we are mindful in the physical, caring for our bodies like the temple that it is, that you've allowed us to steward well, and the spiritual aspect as we combat against the use of profanity, any bitterness, envy, and strongholds. As we journey with you as participants in your kingdom, may we continue to see the power and authority of your holy name. May our works not be a performance, but truly good works that display love, mercy, and attentiveness to you and what you're saying to us. Help us to trust in your provision even more than before and experience radical generosity and sharing your love and glory with others. All this in Jesus' name. Amen.